Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending plenty of love your way as usual now. Felt the need to come up and do this video. Um, after all, a few of you have been messaging me, asking me whether I can confirm or deny whether Kevin Lane is back in prison custody. Very sadly, I confirm that he is. Now, the rumours and speculation um, that some of you are asking me to either confirm or deny, <laughs> I can only come up uh, with, with, um, with the knowledge of what I've actually got. Now, the first thing you're asking me is, is it because he's been appearing on a lot of shows and saying certain things? And one show that you talk about in particular, four of you, would be the one that he's appeared on and the one that alleged that Kenneth Noy was going to appear on. Um, is it because he went on that? Because you're saying to me that we find out now that the reason, one of the reasons maybe that Kenneth Noy never appeared on that show was because his probation officer told him that if he goes on that show, he will be recalled. Um, the only differences with Kevin Lane is he's been on social media a long time. Um, and has appeared on that show. So if probation said the same thing they said, to, allegedly said to Kenneth Noy, to Kevin, Kevin wouldn't appear on there. It's as simple as that, because he's getting prior warning to uh, them telling him not to do something, otherwise he'll be breached and recalled. So the real reasoning behind that is I don't go along with that theory. It's worth remembering that this has been his longest period out and he's making inroads and his rehabilitation and resettlement after a few years of ups and downs with those licensed conditions. He's had a couple of recalls before, probably unjustly, and we know what that feels like being on license. Um, the reality is he's only just got to see his boy as well in recent times. Um, he's been offering a lot of wisdom, insight, passing on his experiences on various shows as to the life that he was subjected to during 24 years of being incarcerated. A very valuable role model in later life who has that wealth of experience to pass on to a lot of young people or a lot of people who want you know, some insight uh, to what it means. Uh, when you're high risk in those category A establishments and the kind of things that you have to go through, the kind of behaviours, um, everything that's been combined together, he's given a lot back to the community over a period of time. This is very, very sad because whilst passing on all those experiences, of course, he now has to go back through the door again and face those old familiar feelings surrounded by staff. They probably won't be subjecting him to some of the things that he, you know, that he went through in the early part of his life sentence. Um, but the reminders and those thoughts and feelings, um, behaviours will all come haunting back to him, I'm afraid, when he lies on his bed. It's very difficult to do, especially when there's no allegations of a crime being committed, when you're a license. Now, the reality is also this, and it's worth you remembering this, some of you, is that all it takes is somebody close to you, somebody not close to you, to phone probation and make an allegation or say something um, where the probation gets a little bit, you know, it's Kevin Lane, I'm going, and, and just put him back into custody where he wouldn't have no warning to defend himself. When you're subjected to MAPA, because I don't believe he could come under the 28-day recall rule because he's under MAPA, unless the rules have changed, right? So don't quote me on that. Um, but he only gets a chance to defend himself once he's in custody. So it would seem that he would have to sit in front of a parole board unless there is um, you know, a, a apparent definite straight away uh, a mistake or quite clear uh, quite clearly not a good judgment by the probation on first-hand information at the hands of somebody else saying something and just put him in custody and and the board see quite f um, clearly through that straight away and release him within that month or so right so it is very very sad uh, to hear this uh, because we know how hard it is to come out of prison and to resettle after a lifetime of doing things in a certain way. So, yeah, with a bit of a sad heart, um, we hope to see Kevin Lane um, back out shortly, but it doesn't do his soul any good, to be honest, all right? So I'm going to be back up in a minute with something else. God bless you all.